the Pita Pit. With fresh and delicious pitas, speedy deliveries, and appealing mascots like Mr. Bacon and Mr. Tebow, you'd think the Pita Pit was the best restaurant ever to come to Oak Harbor. However, when you enter the store, you could end up with the unfortunate encounter with a bad employee. We'll call him Joe. With our hidden camera placed, we can see every mistake made by Joe. No scenes in my <gasps> Now notice how the customer gasps. The customer has done this because he knows that Joe is obviously putting seeds in his pita when the customer specifically asked for no seeds. This is mistake number one. I want one sprout. No, no, no sprouts. Just that one. Uh, so Joe, you decide to just walk away when the customer makes a little mistake about how many sprouts are going into his pita? Typical amateur move. And that's mistake number two. Uh, I want hummus. You want hummus? Yeah, I want hummus. That's hummus? What's wrong with the niche? Whoa, that sounds better. I want this one. Alright. You wanna try the hummus? Yeah. Joe, Joe, Joe. You're doing just fine mentioning the ingredients of the hummuses, but you're blowing it. What he's doing here is highly illegal, and he should have lost his job and hummus privileges. No customer gets free hummus. Mistake number three. Oh, oh wait a minute. He's not done. He, now he's scolding the customer for making a mess. You can do that at home with a dog, Joe, but not with a paying customer. Mistake number four. All right, what else you want? I said all this. At this point, Joe has forgotten the difference between telling something and suggesting something. Joe should have suggested more pineapple instead of telling the customer to have more pineapple. Even though, in my opinion, roasted pineapple with teriyaki sounds pretty dank. Mistake number five. Put some tzatziki in there. You want more in the pita? Jake, you want any more teriyaki in the pita? Yeah. A little bit. Anything else? No. Pretty much nailed it. Now this is questionable. He could have cleaned the pita assembling area down before doing this, but based on the previous five mistakes, I doubt it. Let's not count this as a mistake. I'm down. And play some rock band. Whoa. I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty impressive rip. However, it in no way can make up for what's about to happen next. It's one of the biggest mistakes a pita pit employee can make. I'm not talking about a cigarette butt in a pita, or dropping a pita, or spitting in a pita. No, this is much worse. <laughs> You're gonna be on the line now. Yeah, you really saw that. No special CGI effects were added to this video clip. That was a full-on fist to a harmless little pita. Wow, Joe. Real cool. The only way you could probably feel better about yourself is to punch the pineapple out of a poor pita. That's really sad. Whoa. Dude! <laughs> Sorry, dude. I dropped it. I got it on the tape. Apart. So 
that's one, two, three, four, five, and six mistakes made by Whoa. Mr. Peter Peter Joe. Jesus. And if that Peter was a little kitten, then Peter would probably throw Joe down a pit like the one from Mortal Kombat. So whenever you decide to go to the Peter pit, just walk up to the front of the store and look through the window and look out for any Joes. And if a Joe is working, I would highly suggest you forget about eating at Peter Pit and just go to Desert Sun and get an Oompa Loompa Tan.